I'm back. Welcome to another episode of Hooked with Hutch. We're out ice fishing today. Man, it feels good to be back. It's been a little while. We're gonna be jigging it old school today. Got the old sled behind me. Just a little hand auger, some jig sticks, some bivets. And that's really gonna be the name of the game today. This is only my fourth time ever ice fishing in my life. In fact, my third time ever was yesterday. So I'm not too knowledgeable, but you know, we're going for slab purchase today. You know, if a nice LMB or a pike wants to bite, I'm not going to complain. I'm here at my girlfriend's grandparents' place, and uh, her grandfather was out this morning. We went out yesterday, caught about two dozen keepers, but uh, he was out here earlier today, and he caught like 14-inch LMB, fat one at that, so it'd be nice if we have some of that luck on our little journey. We don't have too much time. It's going to be getting dark soon, but... We're gonna try to make the best out of it. I'll see you guys once we start jigging a hole. All right guys, this is a hole that we were actually fishing at yesterday. It's got a nice little white and sartreuse bibbit here. I like this one because it's actually got a true hook on it instead of just your regular bibbit hook that is just connected to the lead body essentially. I like these a lot more because the hook will actually stay in the fish's mouth opposed to bibbits which it's kind of controversial you know the bivets are good because when you're just catching perch to keep them you're obviously just going to be hucking them into you know your bucket so it's easy a lot easier just to get them to pop off but i prefer keeping the hook right in their mouth that way i don't lose anything but that's just me it's really all preference i think we're gonna give right here in this vicinity a shot There we go. Looks pretty good. There's about 12 inches of ice here, guys. Ice has been a problem all year so far. But I'll probably get back to you guys once I get on a fish. That way there's just not all this scrap film that's like 20 minutes long. All right, guys, there's our first fish of the day. Completely, and I mean completely, caught me off guard there. He absolutely just annihilated it. He completely choked it. Let me try the old little pop trick here. There we go. And that'll keep, man. That's a, it's not a bad one at all right there. Probably one of my better perch I've caught ice fishing so far this year. So he'll keep. Uh, we're keeping the fish today. I know that's not normally my kind of thing, but her grandfather eats them. He loves them. Same thing with her grandmother. So we're going to have a fish fry. So we're going to keep this guy. Probably going to knock him out, though, so he doesn't just sit in this bucket and suffer. So... We're gonna do that real quick. Alrighty, we got another one here. This one's a bit smaller, but so this guy will not keep. So I'll just get this hook out though. Come on, buddy. There you go. And just pop the top. And the hook, in theory, should just come right out. Oh, nice little dude there. See you later, buddy. Thank you for biting. It's the wrong way, homie. You gotta go down. Uh, this hole's starting to turn on a little bit, which makes sense. Sun's starting to go down. They start to bite a little bit better there in the evening. Uh, if not, though, we're going to go out a little bit further and give that a shot. Alrighty, guys. Looks like we are going to move out a little bit further. Just don't have a tremendous amount of confidence in this tungsten jig right now. And I'm running short on time. So I kind of want to go for something that's going to get me fish here let's try this old guy out actually all pink 
black dots. Kind of looks like a little caterpillar or something. Let's try jigging that around. Oh, see, I'm a lunker fisherman, so using these tiny little bivets and jigs is just funny to me. But you can't knock it because it actually works. This is just very much out of my element as fly fishing is going to be here soon, obviously. I became a trout fisherman this year on a spinning rod, so I do know some, about, some, quite a few things about trout. But fly fishing itself, not so much. I've been doing my studying because, man, fly fishing is something that can take a decade to master from what I've heard, so... I'm taking it pretty seriously that way I have my best shot to be the most successful I can and produce good videos for you guys so it should be a blast a lot of fun trips planned for this spring and summer and uh, some of the places we're going yeah your only option is fly fishing they won't let you uh, use spinning rods in those areas so it should be pretty freaking cool shout out to my uncle Rob for hooking me up with the fly rod for Christmas Alrighty, what's up guys? We're gonna do the, uh, I think it's been two days since I was last out here filming. Because I'm not satisfied with only three perch stuffers. It is absolutely freaking frigid today. It's two degrees, I think. Uh, there's a lot of wind out here currently. It's actually not that bad, but I don't know how much the wind still adds. But we're on the first hole here. Hopefully we will get a big one today. Yep. All right, first hole of the day. I'm losing the sunglasses because I can't see them. Just throw these in the sun for now. Gotta put a spike on our bivet. Got a new rod yesterday. Shoutouts to my girlfriend for picking me up this little light action rod. It's pretty sweet. I'm just gonna throw a spike here on the end of the hook just to get us started off here today. Right. That's good enough for now. There we go. First fish right off the bat there. Alrighty, just a little perch, guys. See you later, bud. That's the wrong way, homie. There you go. Well, that's promising. That was a, the first fish off the bat really quick there. After going through some issues with the new rod and line. But it looks like we're off to a good start. Yeah, I can already, I can feel the hit so much better with this rod. I really like this rod. Yep, there's one. There we go. That's a pretty good one. That's a keeper. Yeah, we'll let him go. He's not that big. Might be on a potential little school here. Yep, there's one. Another little guy. Alright guys, if they ever swallow it like that, all you do is you just push the top of the lure down. And you can usually pop it right out. So, just a little guy. There's one. Not a bad one. There we go guys, another decent little perch. I think that one will keep for our fish fry coming up here in a few days. Oh, I missed it. Well, so far it's proving to be a very productive day. I'm liking this. Oh, 
I missed it. Ooh, that was a really big hit. That was a huge hit. If it's caught on the ice. That was a big hit. I yanked the freaking rod. Yeah, there's a fish. There we go. It's not a bad one either, guys. Just another little yellow perch. We'll take it though. Yeah, there we go. That guy's on the. This guy's on the smaller side. I think we're gonna throw this guy back. Another one, guys. This guy's a bit on the smaller side. He's gonna go back in the hole. Be free, friend. Yeah, we got some worm on there still. Alrighty, another little dude. We gotta be on a school of them. Uh, ooh. Just another little guy right there. Really nice colors on him. He's actually got some blue little hues on him. It's pretty neat. Oh, that was something big. That was, that might have been a slab perch right there. Oh, that was a good bump. That was a good bump. There we go. That's a better one. <laughs> yeah, there's a slab. <laughs> there we go. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. Get a quick little measurement on this guy. First big one of the day. This guy will keep. There we go. Nine inch right there. I don't know if you can if you see it, but a little nine inch perch real real quick right there off the bat. There's a little fish on there. Wow, micro perch. There we go, just a little dude. Sand them back down. There we go. Another good one there. there we go. Not a bad one at all. Yeah, damn, that thing spiked me through my gloves. There we go. Buddy old boy choked it. There we go. But that's another good one right there. A bump. Yeah. Oh, a little guy made that that drag peel. Seriously? My goodness. A little perch. Alrighty, back down we go. There we go. Another perchy. Come on, dude. Come on. So I'm back. This bibbit I'm using is fire. I knew this thing was going to produce today. 
Well, that wind can stop. Nah, we just jig it old school out here. Ain't got no shanties, no fancy little flashers. We just, uh, just going right in for it here. Not to discredit anyone that does use shanties and flashers, it's smart and a lot more comfortable. And I would be living that fantasy right now if I had the money to. Just to give you guys the imagery of what it's like today. It's uh, cold as balls out here. Uh, some fantastic wind chill. And a whole lot of perch. There's one having it on the Just a little guy. There we go. Another one. Little guy though. Oop. Come here, buddy. Oh, no, that's another keeper. Not a bad one right there, guys. Perch uh, eye now on the end of our bibbit. There we go. Feels like a better fish. Or not. Really freaking tiny one to just eat it weird, I guess. See ya, buddy. Thanks for biting. Another one. That's another one. There, another one. Jeez. Another good size one. This guy didn't take the eye either. It's clamping his mouth. Oh, there we go. Don't take it. There we go. It's another nice yellow perch. Yeah, that might be a better fish. Yes, sir. That is another one. still have the eye no way not bad one that's a chunky one right there that's a fish freaking taco this guy's a little bit on the skinnier skinnier side so we'll toss him back good thing you hit that diet buddy Another little one. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill. Oh my god, no way the eye is still on there. That's crazy. Let's see if I can re thread that through. Just stand in this spot. Since my bucket's being difficult. 